Let me talk about the basic reverse engineering al algorithm, and then we'll take a, a break. So this is the basic algorithm that I came up with. Uh, this, this is basically what I do, um, gather information. You have a file, the file, the wall of data, whatever it is. Um, and you want to figure out, okay, what, what do I, how do I analyze this? Um, well, you have maybe somebody telling you what they want to get out of it. You know, tell me what crypto this is using. Um, or, you know, tell me what's the, how do I deobfuscate the network traffic that this malware is using? Um, and, and so you kind of have somewhere to go um, to, to look for. But the, usually the first thing is, I'll do is take a look at the, the imports, um, strings, that are in the file, um, something might jump out at me as you know, being related to what I was asked to find or just jump out at to me as interesting. Um, and never discount dynamic analysis. Um, run the thing. Uh, if it's malware, do it in a secure sandbox. Um, but find out you know, what, what, is, what it does when it runs can help you to identify um, what might be interesting, what, where you want to go looking for additional functionality within it. Um, so once you've identified you know, something of interest and, and you find um, that within the malware, um, then what you'll do is, okay, I have a function, take a look at the calls that are being made. Are any of those uh, library calls uh, that can give me a hint as to, okay, this is what it's doing. Um, if there aren't library calls, but there are calls to other functions, then you can add those to your list of, okay, I need to dive into what's going on here. Um, but then you also have within that function, what are the algorithms being used? What are the data structures being used? And that can lead you to what, what is this function doing? Uh, and once you've done that, you've, you've likely identified another function of interest. So you go back, iterate through, and, and Keep going. 